Welcome back to the channel, guys. All right, here we go. We're going to try to take on tier four mission infrared from redacted to try to finish this up. This is probably one of the hardest missions to do, especially solo, but I wanted to go ahead and try and see if I could do it, then share with you how it went down and maybe some tips, some tricks on how to do it yourself. So first things first, you got to grab a chopper. It's the only way to travel in Masra. Especially for this mission, you want to avoid PvP because you're not here to do PvP. You're here to get in, to get some materials that you need, and then get into Koshki to get this mission done. So if you don't make it to Koshki, well, obviously you're not going to get the mission done. So get a chopper, that way you can fly around to get the things you need to stock up before you head on down. Okay, so now you got your chopper, let's uh, start getting things off the list. So, first thing off, you're going to need to get two car batteries, you're going to need to get two jumper cables, you're going to want to make sure you bring down a bunch of plates, you're going to want to make sure you bring down ammo, self revives, you're going to need an L2 key or a skeleton key. You can get an L2 key from a prior mission or you're going to have to buy one for 50000 at the buy station down in Koski. Or you can find one kind of randomly around, maybe in a desk. But it's no sure thing that you're going to find one. You could lose a lot of time trying to search. So your best bet is do what I did. I brought in a skeleton key. Now, if you need to see a video on how to get a skeleton key, Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see a video on how I get skeleton keys. So obviously you can see so far, what I'm doing is I'm flying around all the different gas stations. Uh, a, you got to fuel up your chopper as you're flying around. And B, the things that you're looking for just happen to be here. So it's kind of like a win-win. You get your chopper, you can fly around, you can avoid the PVP mostly, right? Unless they're just trying to duck hunt you out of the air. But other than that, you're off the ground. You can move around from gas station to gas station um, because here is yep. where you're going to be able to get a lot of the things that you need. You're going to be able to get your plates. You're going to be able to get your car batteries. You're going to be able to get jumper cables. You're going to be able to even collect some things if you need to get your three plate self revives. So it's a great place to get the loot that you need before you head down into the complex. Okay, with all that said, Let's go ahead and sit back and watch this uh, without so much talking. I will narrate, obviously, as we go on, but uh, this is just kind of a, a gameplay video, not so much just a how-to. It's kind of like a little bit of both. And if you like this type of content, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe. It would be a lot cool if you did. You know, as a new creator, every little bit helps, so I know which direction to go with this. And it lets me know that I'm doing it right or wrong, however it goes, you know? All right, so let's sit back, let's watch this. I'm gonna narrate as we go, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. All right, All right guys, over here. here we go. Okay, jumper cables check. Reinforcements incoming. I've got my car batteries, I've got my jumper cables, I've got a selfie, got some plates. Probably use a few more plates or a plate box. Uh, probably can get rid of this gas can, right? Alright, so now you've got everything that you need. you got your plates, you've got your selfies, you got some armor. Now you want to go ahead and head down to Rohan. You're just going to go down here, underneath. Now, right now, the threat is medium, so I'm not seeing many AI. And if they were here, they've already been cleared out, but expect to have some serious contact here. It could be two, three shield guys, a bunch of AI, and it gets pretty spicy down here. Once you get into this room, make sure you have everything that's in your bag that you're going to need before you get into the map. 
You might even find that extra pair of jumper cables or a few more plates, a plate box before you head in. Definitely make sure you do that. Okay, so you head down this hallway, and there it is. There's your entrance into the complex. So go ahead and activate it to get it going so you can open up the door. But, you know, as you're standing here, you got a few seconds to go. Make sure you watch your back because other players are trying to get down here as well. So never turn your back on Almazra because we know what happens here when you do that. Ultra One, a squad mate is down. You are taking effective fire. Okay, as time ticks down, it's going to say OK, confirm, and you're on your way in. That's it. We're halfway done. Now on to the fun part. Okay. 30 minutes. Do this. Come on. And a little self-talk motivation never hurts either. For one, we've lost visual on your location. Use any markers you can find to navigate through the area. Take it. So immediately here on the left, you're going to have that turret. Just obviously, don't run out into that. You're going to get chewed up. Right down at probably about 50 feet in front of you, there's going to be several AI, and there's going to be another turret. So just be careful of that. What you can do is you can come right around this corner on the left. You can come around. You can take it out. There's also going to be some AI off to your left that spawn right out of that elevator. You can't see through that. That's bulletproof glass, so you gotta wait till they come out around the corner. Take them out. Give this thing a few whacks. So this Alpha Sector, A1 here, there sometimes can be some crates in here. So keep an eye out for that. There isn't any at this time. Your objective is you're gonna try to get down there to the left to get through this hole, but that turret is there, like I had mentioned. So another way to do it is you can kind of circle around. There's some extra rooms in here, so you definitely want to check these rooms for extra things like plates, ammo, self-revives, stuff like that. So you can kind of rotate around. It all goes to the same spot. I mean, those arrows will point in the direction you need to go, but you can also go this way. They meet to the same spot. I prefer to go this way, honestly, because it puts you right to where you're going and the the turret is going to be facing in the opposite direction so you don't have to kind of just take it head on. So you go I'm down here and get right behind these boxes. You'll see that other turret. There's going to be some AI here. This is the room where the upload console is. First part of the mission. Alright, so now once you jump in here, you got to be careful. That elevator to your right there, I haven't really figured out when it opens, but that's where reinforcements come out. So it seems like at any point, these guys can come out. They will come out once you try to upload, but I kind of found a trick to that as well, because if you just get in here and boom, just try to get that console going, these AI are gonna come pouring out of there and they're gonna just nail you as you're stuck to this console. So what I've done is I've kind of just completely went around this whole area, keep checking it, and I'll kill as many AI as I can. Now down in Koshki, you don't wanna wait around too long because they just kinda of seem to keep coming. But if you clear out 95, 98% of them before you move on, you can kind of tell when it quiets down. You know how that goes. But that way I found once you're taking out all these extra AI, this elevator that you see right there, the AI are going to come out. And when they do, I found that that's when you go ahead and hit the upload station. Because if you hit it while you're solo, before they come out, they're going to come out as you have your back turned, and they're going to light you up. But 
if you wait until they come out for some reinforcements, you take them out, and then you hit the upload, the chances that another batch, see here they come out, uh, another batch is going to come out is unlikely. So now you hit the station. Now you don't have to worry about them pouring I'm fucking out. dead. It's key when you're solo. Now if you're in a team, someone just go ahead and gets that thing going. Just expect that there's going to be a bunch of AI that come pouring out of that elevator. Okay, so you saw that, right? Upload process. You're supposed to stick around. Obviously, I didn't. So this is one of the things I'm talking about. One of the things that you're going to do. Okay. Because I'm going to have to end up coming all the way back. Now, what I probably would have messed up anyways and had to come back in, in a little bit. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. But make sure that when you hit that station, you stick around for the upload process. Because once we get to the room that we're going to, you're not going to be able to get this document out of a crate because it's going to still be locked. Also, I forgot to mention, make sure that you keep an eye out for your night vision goggles. You're going to need those because the next room that we're going into is extremely dark. Night vision without them, well, good luck. A single fucking pair of nods. All right, and just make sure that before you head in, you keep checking all these crates. You want to grab as much ammo, as many plates as you can. There you go. There's the night vision. Throw those in your bag to use those. Just going to move the toggle the on or off from your backpack. Okay, so here's the entrance. This is where you're going to need to make sure you have your, your battery, your jumper cable. You'll just attach it to that and open it up. The alarm starts to go off. Now, I'm getting alerts that there are players here. And it seems like whenever I come down here, there's players. So as this door is opening, you make sure you take up a position and don't just kind of run out there because other players are going to hear this. And a lot often they're gonna come here and they're just gonna camp the spot. Ultra one, there's increased enemy activity in the area. Ultra one, activity is increasing near your location. Stay alert. Okay, now that you're in, you want to bang a right, hug these walls. You're going to take another right, hug these walls, and you're going to see up here on the right, you're going to see C2. This is going to be your entrance. This is where you're going to want to go. On this wall to your right, this is where you're going to need your second battery. Use second jumper cable. Go ahead and put that on there and be able to open up the door. Now, a little trick here. Since there are players, like I said, that are going to hear this, you're going to want to stand just like this. This way you can keep an eye on the right and keep an eye on the left. That way if players start to come on either direction, you can see which side they're coming from. Once you go in here, you're not going to need the nods. Go ahead and turn them off. It's going to be a turret in here. Make sure you hit all these rooms, looking for more ammo. You just knock this thing a few times. Don't waste your ammo on it. Okay, now, so this hallway right here, there's gonna be a few doors off of it. You're gonna wanna search them, obviously. Still That's looking it. for Head more ammo. There, but I more, really some, need plates. some ammo. It's a common theme. I mean, I don't really if you take a left here, you're going to see the other entrance into this complex that we're in now. It just leads right back out into that room we came from that you need the goggles. Certainly can get turned around in here. But you're going to come back where we came from. And now you're going to take a left. Straight down this hallway you know, is where we're going to need to go. I'm going to go down there. Just keep going straight and check some of these rooms. Just keep going straight. Come on, just some ammo. Just want some ammo, bro. But in a second here, you're gonna see me. I'm gonna turn left. Oof. 
Okay. And that's where your x is gonna be. That's a whole nother part of this room that we're gonna be going to. Okay, it's not It's like server one. room, it's huge. But that's not what we need to go it's right now. You wanna come here. down these stairs and bang it right. You don't wanna go straight. You're gonna hit a bunch of booby traps, a bunch of AI. You wanna come straight up here. Once you get to the top of these stairs, there's gonna be a turret and a bunch of AI. Just kinda peek up here. If not, you're gonna get ripped up. So we'll really take those guys out. Now, on your right, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you also Keep an ear out for the bell because this elevator, a bunch of AI can come pouring out as well. So take your time, take these guys out. And you're gonna see these three doors up here, these green doors. This is where you're gonna need to go. This is where the L2 key or the skeleton key is gonna be needed to move on with this mission. Ammo. Just keep checking for plates. Wait, wait. Checking for ammo. It's huge. Come on. Cough it up, bro. Okay, so once you're geared up, you have the ammo that you're going to get. You're going to want to go ahead and make your way through these doors, but there's going to be either two or three shield guys in here that uh, are pretty amped up. So make sure you're prepared for that. I forgot when I came in here. Oh, shit. Ah. <laughs> Ultra one, be advised. Ultra one, and there you go. That's exactly what I was talking about. Bing. Room service. And again, ammo is a big problem. self revise make sure if you use one, you re-equip one right away. Now we've all made that mistake. Shield? Get the fuck out of here, bro. I got no ammo. So now, yeah, I'm down to like zero rounds. Good thing, though, about the AI in this map, they do drop ammo and they do drop plates. They aren't too stingy with it, but once you kill the AI, you definitely want to make sure that you go around and you scoop up everything they drop. Give me some goddamn ammo, bro. Twenty rounds. All right, so now you make your way down here. Once you bang this right, you're gonna see a turret. Just watch out for that. This room that we need to go to, it's gonna be right there, that blue door. There's two doors to get in. There's this one, and then there's the one that's around the corner where the turret is. Now, this mission is bugged. Not all the time when you use your night vision goggles here are you gonna see the lasers, which is an issue. That's why this mission is kind of tough because you're gonna end up running into these lasers. It's gonna reset the system. The alarm's gonna go off and you need to go all the way back to the reload station to reset the security. So you might end up having to do this mission over again because, or at least going back to the upload station to reset the system because you can't even see the lasers. So you might have to do a dry run. And the fact that I even forgot to stick around for the upload station to begin with, 
Well, it just gave me a reason to do a dry run. So here in a minute, Over. you're going to see what I end up doing. I end up trying to figure out these lasers. Sometimes you can see it here on the ground right here, that little white thing on the right. That's where one of the lasers comes out. Over. You're going to want to jump over that one. And then there's another one that you're going to have to duck under. And then another one you're going to have to jump over again. So it's a, a jump, duck, and jump. And then you're going to get on your belly and you're going to slide to your right. And then you're going to no, see over. that you can grab the crate. But since I hit the lasers, it's moot. And you have to start over again anyways. But... If you do mess up, uh, then just try to stick around here and try to time it. Try so to figure it down out. here, right next to that generator. You see that little white box? That's where the laser is coming out of. You can see a little bit of shine there. Now I hit this thing, and that's it. The alarm would have gone off, and, and then that would have been it. But now that I know it's gone off, I'm going to want to go ahead and, and stick around and try to figure this out. Moving. This is brutal, bro. Okay, look, it's, over, okay, it's, over, Threats are moving. Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. I don't get it. Look. Over. Over. Under. Over. Okay, so now you just crawl on your belly under these lasers here. You'll go up to that orange crate there, and this is where it's going to be. Okay. You'll be able to open that and grab it. Okay, so now you remember it's going to be jumping over, Whoa. crawling under, jumping over, and then crawling. Now I gotta make Ten my way all the way make back. Make it. And this is one of the reasons why this mission is so difficult, because all these AI are pretty much reset. And as time's getting closer to the end of the map, these AI are gonna be even tougher. One, there's increased enemy activity. One, activity is increasing near your location. Stay alert. Okay, guys, if you're actually still here, awesome. You guys are the best. Go ahead and smash the like button. Consider subscribing. It'd mean a lot, guys. All right, so you're just going to go back the way you came. Just going to go left, hug the wall. Bang it on the left. Wall. Take another left. Go back inside.
Holy shit. So this is also why this mission is so tough. These AI, they are practically shooting before you even peek a corner. So it's like instant damage as soon as you see them. It's not like, you know, oh, there they are and you can engage. They are smacking you as soon as you come around a corner. So breaking off engagements after each AI, if you can, to wait for your health to regain between shots is huge, especially as you're pretty much low on selfies and plates at this point. This is crazy, bro. How many goddamn AI are there? to continue the upload and then the AI, AI do come out of this elevator you'll see it now imagine you were stuck on that thing you're dead so doing it solo can be tough but remember earlier when those AI came out and I hit it they didn't come out so that's why waiting until a first wave come out and then doing it, it would have been fine. But now that I came back and did it, then they did come out. Okay, so now we head back out. Second time's a charm or third, however they say it. All right, well, let's just hope we get it done this time, right? Hug the wall to the right. Thank God I'm not hearing enemy players are around. Because that seems to happen. Especially when I'm solo. So yeah, we just head straight down this hallway where we're going to bang a right, go up those stairs. But of course, expect contact. One, be advised threats are moving into the area. Threats? Shit, threats, huh? God damn, bro. Actual to Ultra One, winds are picking up in the AO. Advise you get to extraction before radiation moves in. It's over.
Fuck. <laughs> over, under, over, right? Yes, over, Ultra one, under, over. Ultra one, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. And there it is. Oh, look at that. Some extra ammo. That's nice. And there you go, that's what the alarm sounds like when it's actually all set and you trigger the lasers, that's what it would sound like. Now we just make our way back up to that other part of the server room where that exfil was, where I showed you earlier. That's a wrap, baby. Just make sure you also pay attention to these AI. They will try to uh, push you towards exfil. Again, guys, appreciate you sticking around this long. Go ahead and smash the like button. If you any other ideas for anybody else watching, leave a comment down below. Holy Consider subscribing. Shit, it means a lot. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's go. Let's go. That only took a minute. Man, every minute. Man. All right, let's go. That's how you do it right there, baby. Solo. It's probably easy for everyone but me. How many times I've run into operators doing this, but finally got it done. GG's to me. Ninety-eight AI kills. Okay.